Okay, once again, Mario, and this is the seat that I've been rebuilding for the Yerftok 3020. As you can see, I already have the patterns already sewn. This is a slip-on cover. This actually gets a little bit of padding. This is the pocket that fits over the uh, over this bar right here of the seat, like so. And with the padding and this uh, hard back here, it uh, provides a little bit of cushion as a backrest. So that goes there. All these pieces that you see here are assembled with the base, which is a plywood base, three quarter inch plywood base. That's what this uh, pattern is for. I don't have the, the, the base just yet. I have to get the wood and, uh, and cut it and uh, shape it a little bit on the corners here, just run, run off the, the corners and then put the padding, the foam padding, and this is going to go on top. Once that's on top, it gets stapled underneath, you know, to provide the, uh, the seat. Uh, likewise, with these uh, armrests, they're already done. As you can see, they're kind of egg-shaped. Uh, and uh, these get also filled with the uh, foam padding that I took out from the original one, and that gets also attached with staples underneath the, the wooden base. So all these become sort of like flaps, uh, flap-type uh, armrests. Same thing with this. This gets a staple from underneath the uh, the seat, so that the base sits on top of this flap here. Once, of course, this is uh, filled with a little bit of a uh, uh, um, foam uh, cushion. So all these things are just ready to be uh, to be installed. You know, with the foam. Once I get the uh, plywood base cut out, I'll be assembling this, and that'll be the seat. The uh, Yerf dog. Uh, logo it's going to go right there there's going to be a um, um, uh, in, in a, um, a detail they are going to be adding at the last minute once the card is fully assembled and everything's ready to uh, to run I'll be putting the decals the Yerf Dog decals which I'm going to lift from the original Yerf Dog uh, seat you can see how beat up these uh, seats are so that's going to go right there and it's going to look uh, really sharp I mean I, I really like the uh, the way this came out with this brown material this is a, a dark brown um, vinyl uh, leather like uh, material as I explained in my other video and um, and so this is going to uh, this is looking really really spiffy with the yellow and the black because this is kind of brown if you mix yellow and black you know color wise you know you get a brown so that was my, my thought, you know, when I selected this material that, you know, it's got a little bit of black and a little bit of yellow, you know, which turns into brown, basically. So that's uh, why I selected this. Uh, black would, would look uh, also really good here, but uh, I couldn't pass it. This um, material that was sitting there for uh, a yard uh, for a very, uh, um, for just a few dollars, you know, five dollars is what I paid for the yard. Um, Typically, this material goes anywhere from uh, $13 on up per yard. Uh, I've seen stuff uh, that, uh, um, that even goes, you know, much higher than that, $25, $30, you know, per yard, you know, if you buy vinyl leather-like material. Uh, some of it is, uh, is a little bit uh, thicker than this material. This doesn't require uh, to be really, really thick. This material is the same one as on the Yerto. The same material that they use on the Yerto, you can see that, that uh, that kind of gauze uh, backing that this uh, vinyl material has. This material also has that gauze-like backing. So it's the same material, except that this one is, uh, has gotten stiff over time, you know, through the uh, through exposure to the sun, which will probably happen on this thing too if this is kept in the sun. I don't plan on keeping this in the sun. I plan on keeping this uh, under a roof. You know, uh, I want to take care of this car uh, because this. Uh, the way I'm putting this together is for personal use and not for resale. Uh, if I decide to re sell this car at a la later time, it'll be a, uh, it'll it'll be much much later. But I I'm, I'm planning on keeping these cars. Uh, I'll be doing the same thing to the other car. The other car is a dual seater. That one will get those seats right there, which I shown in other videos. Those are ready to go on that other car. Um, I cover as much as uh, as I could uh, to make it look like the other one. This is the one that I finished with. Uh, uh, with the uh, paint stripper and then uh, using the uh, PVC primer, you know, to uh, to provide a nice um, surface for the P 
paint, the black paint to go on that one. This one I sanded, so I explained my other video. I'm not going to go too much into details of that process, but you know, just uh, uh, just know that uh, this seat is uh, is has been coated uh, is um, is that one right there on the edges here. I didn't spend too much time on the center because this is going to be covered anyway with uh, with uh, with a, a padded uh, cushions. Both of these will be covered with padded cushions, so I didn't spend too much time on the center of this one here. Although the the edges are just like that one right now, they're very very nice and and, uh, and, and, and shiny. It's almost like a you know like the original uh, uh, probably like the original plastic. I don't know if this plastic was uh, shiny to begin with or it was dull. You know like um, not uh, not having the original uh, seats. You know these can paint it, so I'm assuming that these these seats were. Um, were, uh, had a nice sheen to the plastic when they were first uh, 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 when, when they were brand new. So, but that's as far as I got in with these uh, seats. Uh, just waiting for the pads. But th this one will go on the on the uh, dual seater on the other year. Talk uh, 3202. So this is the 3020 that I, I know for you know for sure. The other one I think it's a 3202 or 3203 or something like that. So this is where I'm at with this. Uh, next video will be uh, this already mounted on the seat and ready to go. Stay tuned for more.